Here's some more breaking news that we knew a few weeks ago because it was confirmed in one interview, but it didn't get picked up in enough interviews. So a, a confirmation that got picked up in enough interviews and enough people heard it. Breaking news. Uh, Arthur Blank confirms that both Julio Jones and Matt Ryan will be tradable if the new person in charge deems fit Whoa, for the wow. future of the Atlanta Falcons. Holy shit. I think it was three weeks ago he said something, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Yeah. The new GM Just will be about. allowed to do whatever they want or something like mm -hmm. that. It, it's like that type of thing. But it's still getting reconfirmed at this point. The interesting thing about trades in the NFL, and Deshaun Watson might get traded. Mm -hmm. Others might get traded because the salary cap is going to plateau. So people are going to be trying to unload some contracts that they potentially thought they had more room for. Other people maybe have a lot of money, maybe rebuilding. Let me go ahead and scoop up some guys. Ooh. I wouldn't normally be able to scoop because free, free agency is a little bit more wild. But the trading of Matt Ryan also involves in, – in, Matt Ryan played great football this year. Played some bad football as well, but he played some – Great football. First half against the Buccaneers, he looked unbelievable. Yeah. Yep. Looked at second half, second half, different story. First half Buccaneers three weeks ago looked unbelievable. He also, if you trade for him, you were picking up a hundred million dollars in guaranteed contracts. Oh, that's a massive, that's a massive quarterback deal. Huge. And Matt Ryan, you have to weigh Matt Ryan, great player. Hey, great player. Great player. What has some all-time great moments. Yeah, has been a great player. Has they, at some point in his career. But he's great. He's won an MVP. Didn't he win an oh, MVP? Yeah, yeah. MVP quarterback has a hundred million dollars alongside of him. Then who is going to trade for that? Especially with what we just said about the second. Nobody's going to trade for nope. that. Especially now that Deshaun Watson's potentially available. Uh, not, I'm not going to say that Carson Wentz. I would feel like in some people's minds would potentially be a better value than Matt Ryan if they were to trade for him. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of people that are going to be on the market. Fitz. So I, maybe Arthur Blank is re-breaking this news to kind of like hopefully you know like, be like hey, hey let's, let's make sure we keep He's this still available. I don't know if they're going to be able to because if you're Matt Ryan, why would you ever negotiate out of a hundred million dollars guarantee? You wouldn't. Okay, make, like. It was alluded to that if Carson Wentz really wanted out of Philly, he could take a $20 million and exchange it in a contract so that it isn't a salary cap hit the next year or whatever. And Matt Ryan could do that, but I don't know why you would. Who's trading for Matt Ryan? Julio Jones, I think a lot of oh, people yeah. are going to want to go and get. But Matt Ryan, I don't know who's going to want to trade for him. I don't know. Is this feel, solely because like the Arthur Blank and the Falcons don't want to cut Matt Ryan? Like They don't want the optics of no, this guy's giving pay. you everything? Or? Still, if they cut him, they still have to pay. So oh. they don't want to trade him to get something back. Yeah, yeah, they oh, want so, that. So they got to partner the deal with Julio then. Package deal. The only way you can get Julio is if you also take the load of bricks. That's yeah. Matt Ryan. Yeah. Julio's <laughs> contract's pretty large too, but Julio yeah. is still playing at his contract. Yeah, it's Julio though. Yeah. yeah. Like if Julio comes to the Colts, by the way. Ooh. Oh. Super Bowl. You get Matty Stafford here. You're going to have to oh, re-sign T.Y. Jesus. But you get Julio Jones, T.Y. Hilton, Jack Doyle and the boys, Jonathan Taylor in the back, Naeem Hines, Matty Stafford. That defense. That defense. Off. <laughs> oh, my God. Did I just build a team? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so that – and the Colts have enough money to do so. But Matt Ryan, how do you – There's by the way, there's plenty of teams that did what I just did with the Colts with Julio around the NFL. Mm -hmm. Packers. Imagine the Packers Jeez. picking up Julio Jones. I mean, that would be unbelievable because Aaron – has a great stable right now of weapons. Great stable of weapons. Let's not get crazy. Okay, even guys that you didn't even know existed before the season started are great football players. Big Bob Dunyon mm -hmm. got screwed yeah. up. I didn't even know he existed. Played in Indiana State, which is an hour and a half left of here. Okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> oh, man. That goes back to my first training camp was in Terre Haute, which is where Indiana State is. And uh, I had to tell somebody how to get, and I told them, <laughs> to turn left. Go left. And they were like, you don't even know where I'm coming from. I was like, oh, no, but if you're looking at the map, because Terre Haute is west of uh, Indianapolis. <laughs> yeah, left. yeah, you turn left. And obviously, that's all, that was an insight. That one's for me. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> Big Bob Tunyon. Big Bob Tunyon. He's one of the best tight ends in the league. Didn't even know. Lazard, whenever he's playing, makes <laughs> plays all over the field. MVS, now, it has been, you know, there's uh, obviously been a couple plays this year that have been like, okay, but he's become a deep threat. And then obviously, you got Devonta Adams, who in the best wide receiver in the league conversation, yeah. let alone the backfield and everything else, if you had Julio Jones, that, <laughs> I mean, what are you going to do? How do you how do you stop? You don't. It's like the Chiefs all of a sudden, mm -hmm. and then you got teams really. I don't. But the Matt Ryan thing, I don't know how they move on from that. What wow. pick do they have? Three. 
Uh, four, no, I Houston think. has four. three, yeah. which is Miami. Yeah. They have four. Mm-hmm. Do they draft a young quarterback and then just have the young quarterback kind of learn under Matt Ryan have and to. just have to keep his salary? Yeah. That's probably what it is. It says they have an out on uh, Matt Ryan after 2021, right? Because I see like a lot of people stirring up that he might go back to like Shanahan might want him because he won an MVP with Matt Ryan. But with all the guys they're going to have to pay in San Francisco, there's no way in hell they want to take on his contract, and right? Imagine Shanahan with Deshaun Watson. Oh, yeah. man. No, thanks. That's tough NFC. Yeah. yeah. I, just, I just keep thinking about Carson Wentz throwing to Julio Jones in that Colts uniform and how sweet that's going to be. Oh. All right, let's get some phone calls. <laughs> so you have – Tone was on his on his computer. <laughs> he, was, he was deep in his computer. I thought he was coming with some <laughs> prophetic, <laughs> profound, mm-hmm. compelling – List of teams oh, you said that could potentially trade for Matt Ryan. Sure. Kinda, kinda is. If anybody's gonna save Carson Wentz, it's Julio Jones. You said Carson might be more appealing than Matt sure. Ryan. So you know? I just thought about it. 